Hello astronomers. Myself Ranjit Kumar. I am an astronomer and an astronomy educator with Space India. In this video, we are going to unbox case on 80mm reflector telescope. And in the telescope box itself, it is mentioned as 880-320. So here 800 represents the focal length of the telescope, 80 represents the aperture of the telescope, and 320 represents the specification of the finder scope. So yes, this is the box we are going to unbox and uh, after unboxing we are going to understand how to assemble and how to point this telescope towards any particular object so let's start unboxing the telescope first i'm going to keep everything out of the box so these are the materials we have in our uh, telescope box so in this i'm going to first open the bigger box So we have optical tube in the bigger box and in the optical tube make sure the mount is attached with the tube. So this is what we call them as mount. So I am going to keep this aside and I will tell you how to mount. Next I am going to open this box. So in this box we have the tripod and I am going to keep the tripod this side as well. And we have the manual. So this manual will explain about how to assemble the telescope, what are the parts available in the telescope, basic instructions are available in this manual. So I am going to keep the manual aside. We have the accessory tray. So we have the accessory tray, I will tell what is the use of this accessory tray. We have the smaller box, the loss box. So we have two eyepieces, we have one barlow. We have the finder scope. So these four parts are available in the smaller box that is the accessory box. We have two different eyepieces, one 20mm and the other one 6mm. The basic difference between the two eyepieces is the magnification. With 20mm eyepiece we can magnify up to 35 times, with 6mm eyepiece we can magnify up to 137 times. So this is the basic difference between these two eyepieces. We have the 3x barlow. So this 3x barlow, whatever the magnification we get from the eyepiece, this barlow will make it thrice. For example, with 20mm eyepiece, we can magnify up to 35 times. If we use this barlow along with the 20mm eyepiece, then we can magnify up to 105 times. So this is the role of barlow and we have the finder scope. Finder scope covers more field of view and I will tell you how to attach the finder scope as well. So these are the parts we have from this 80mm reflected telescope. Now let's assemble the telescope. In the assembling part of the telescope, we have the tripod, but this tripod is very small. We have to expand the tripod. How to expand the tripod? Here you can, you can see there is a knob. So just to loosen the knob, so that we can extend our tripod. So once it is done, tighten this. Similarly, do the same step for the remaining two legs of the tripod. So now you can see we have expanded our tripod but in this also our tripod is not stable see we can expand we can compress to make it stable we have the accessory tray so i'm going to keep the tripod here this part of the telescope is what we call them as accessory tray now let's understand how to fix the accessory tray with the tripod in the accessory tray you can find there is a hook kind of structure here so what we have to do on we have to fix the hook on the tripod so let me do this it's like this So now we have attached our accessory tray with the tripod. Now we cannot extend the tripod and we cannot compress the tripod. So this is the role of the accessory tray and this has another purpose also. So you can see there is a place for the eyepieces. We can keep our eyepiece over there. So I am going to take the two eyepiece and barlow and I am going to keep it on the place. So we have these three parts. First I am going to keep the barlow and then I am going to take two eyepieces out from the box. And then I am going to keep it. So this is the role of the accessory tray. We can make a tripod stable and we can keep our accessories over on it. We are done with the tripod. Next step what we have to do, we have to make our optical mount ready. So how to make the optical mount ready? You can find there is a rod over here. So we have to first insert the rod on this place. So to insert, we have to remove the screw. 
so take out both of this and then keep this rod over here we have to keep this rod on this bracket but if we try to keep this rod this rubber on the rod is not allowing us to insert the screw so what we have to do we can extend this rod how to extend here you can find there is a screw over here so you can adjust the screw to make the rod extend keep the rod on the bracket then insert both of this and then insert the screw now we have fixed the rod on its place next step you can find there is a cap over here just to loosen the cap and take this out and there is a place for the screw on the tripod just mount an optical tube on the tripod like this and then put the cap back in so now our optical mount is attached with the tripod now we have attached our optical mount with the tripod but still my optical tube is movable see we can make the left to right movement that is the azimuthal movement and we can make the top to bottom movement that is the altitudinal movement how to control this movement to control this movement here you can see the cap so if we tighten this cap then our telescope cannot be moved in the left to right motion if you want to control the altitudinal movement we have to tighten this screw so you can find you can see there is a screw over here we have to tighten this to control the altitudinal movement so this is how we control our telescope movements next step what we have to do we have to attach the finder scope with the optical tube to fix the finder scope with the optical tube you can find there is an extension coming from the finder scope so we have to insert the extension on the bracket mounted on the optical tube make sure the bigger diameter side from the finder scope has to point the object so we have to fix like this just to keep the extension and then insert it now we have attached our finder scope with the optical tube next what we have to do we have to understand how to insert the eyepiece so i'm just turning the telescope and i'm going to take 20 mm eyepiece as it is best for the beginners so you can find there is a cap over here just to loosen the screw take the cap out and then you can see there is a silver color side so we have to insert the silver color side and then tighten the screw once it is tightened make sure the eyepiece is not coming out from the optical tube now we have inserted the eyepiece in the optical tube but we have a bar low how to insert bar low so to explain this i am going to take the eyepiece out and here you can find there is a screw on the bar low just loosen the screw insert the eyepiece and then tighten it once it is done we can insert our bar low like this and then we can tighten it this is how we fix the barlow with eyepiece and we can attach them with the optical tube i'm going to take out barlow from this to explain you how to point this telescope towards any particular object so let let me remove the barlow yes so this is all from the assembling part of the telescope let's understand how to point this telescope towards any particular object to point our telescope towards any particular object first we have to take out the cap from the telescope so i'm going to keep the cap aside now we have removed the cap next step what we have to do we have to start with any terrestrial object like buildings trees towers as terrestrial objects are stable it, it will be easier for us to point from the telescope for beginners so first point any terrestrial object once you have pointed any terrestrial object from the eyepiece so make sure that object comes in the center of the eyepiece so once you find that object in the center next you have to come to the finder scope so keep your eye like this on the finder scope and once you have kept your eye on the finder scope you, you can find a plus symbol make sure the object which you find in the center of the eyepiece will come in the center of the finder scope as well if it is not in the center you can find there are three screws just keep your eye like this and then adjust these three screws to get the same object in the center of the viewfinder so we are doing this process for aligning our viewfinder with the eyepiece once this alignment is done our telescope is ready to point any celestial objects why we have aligned both the viewfinder and the eyepiece because at the night time it will be dark it will be difficult for us to get the object in the eyepiece 
so for that it will be easier for us to first if we get the object in the viewfinder as the viewfinder covers more area it will be easy for us to get the object and make the object in the center of the viewfinder once it is center of the viewfinder obviously it will, it will come in the center of the eyepiece as well because we have aligned both these two things and when you observe an object from the eyepiece sometimes the image may be blurred to get a sharp and clear image we have to adjust the focus knobs you can focus the object with the help of these two knobs so that is it from the case on 80mm reflector telescope and I hope you learnt how to assemble the telescope, how to point this telescope towards any particular object. Wish you all clear skies, happy hunting, bye bye everyone.